Hi! In this video, let's take a look at one of IC Station's WS2812B RGB LED-based development board. Again, thanks for the folks over at IC Station for sending in this board for me to take a look. As many of you have already known, the WS2812B is an intelligent RGB LED that utilizes a very simple non-return-to-zero NZR serial communication protocol and can be chained up to over 1,000 units and still maintain a respectful res refresh rate of over 30 frames per second at a communication rate of 800 kilobits per second. There are many articles, websites, and even videos out there explaining how to control this LED using different microcontrollers, and there are many readily available examples. So I won't be repeating these basics here. And for those who are interested, I would highly recommend uh, the video by Shahar at uh, the Signal Path. He did an excellent job explaining how this communication protocol works and did an example with the experiment board with just the LED strings. What is interesting about this particular board is that it already has a microcontroller on board. The microcontroller used here is a STC15W408AS. The chip is made by a Chinese company in Shenzhen, China, and there's actually very little information about this chip. But, in essence, it is just an 8051 microcontroller. Well, here in the US, the popularity of using 8051s in new products have dwindled somewhat over the years, and hobbyists typically prefer Atmel microchip or ARM-based microcontrollers. It is an extremely popular microcontroller in other parts of the world. In fact, a lot of the electronics designed and manufactured in China use 8051s based, uh, use 8051s and similar microcontrollers. Anyway, this board comes with many example programs, including the API source code to get you started. The included API abstracts most of the MCU specifics away, so the actual programming is extremely simple. So in my, in my opinion, this board is actually quite easy to work with for someone who wants to try out microcontroller programming. The source code was done in Kyle's free Microvision IDE, and this IDE can be freely downloaded on Kyle's website, and it works in both Windows and uh, Linux under Wine. The reason I mention Linux is that that is the only platform that I use at home, but uh, there are some quirkiness uh, in the programming, uh, sorry, in under Linux, as you will see in a bit, but uh, the programming, nevertheless, can be done. So anyway, let's take a look at uh, what we have here, and uh, you will see that here is the microcontroller, I mean, not a microcontroller, here is the actual board, and it's relatively simple. It only has, it only needs four wires to get started. Now, I already solder the wire on, so basically the front center point is the uh, VCC, and the back point here is the ground. Now, this uh, chip can operate according to the data sheet. Uh, this board, actually, it is uh, from 4.5 to 5.5 volts. Now, it actually works far below, the, uh, below that, so I tested this board, it actually start, started working somewhere like right near at 3 volts. So, which means you can easily power this using a single lithium uh, iron cell or just from any 3.3 power supplies. And besides the, uh, the ground and the VCC, it has only two uh, Ports. Basically, this is using a serial, a ser serial communication protocol. So we have a transmit and receive, which can be mated to your any of those uh, uh, UART, UART dongles. Okay. So basically, the receive uh, hooks up to the transmit, and transmit hooks up to the uh, the receiving end. And now, as you can see here, I specifically. As you can see here, I used the 3.3 volts of the dongle, so it, it, it uh, operates quite happily. 
and it comes with a uh, sample program so when you plug it into the USB here I have an extension table cable here it, the sample program would power on which is a uh, you know quite uh, nice so what I'm gonna do is actually using the uh, Kyle IDE to show you that uh, how to compile this program and uh, uh, we'll upload a few sample programs that's provided and see how it goes so here I have already fired up the uh, let's see where it is uh, the Kyle IDE and now as I explained before there's some quirkiness here so you can see this rendering is not quite correct but nevertheless as you can see we actually uh, all we need to do here is include the uh, some header files and basically we just uh, do some very basic C++ programming and that's all there to it so basically we set each um, each color components uh, intensity in the loop here and we uh, then you know go on set many different patterns and we sent the frame over to the uh, microcontroller so that's the the main uh, you know programming that you have to do to get it to work now if uh, let, let's take a look at this particular one and we can uh, uh, program them here so basically in program in project let's uh, rebuild all targets okay and you'll see that there's no error so afterwards we can use a simple program to upload that onto the uh, the board using serial protocol now the program that I'm using here is uh, sorry not this one so this is the one we just uh, programmed okay so it's called the STC uh, gal now the STC gal is open source uh, program that works both on Windows and Linux and again um, I'm using that to actually flash the uh, the hex file that's produced by the IDE onto the board so alternatively you could customize your I think it's configure your flash tool inside Kyle and uh, use you know whatever uh, program that you wish to to flash to your microchip to uh, to use that in the IDE but here I'm just going to do that in command line okay so let me um, and actually the flashing is quite simple because it doesn't have a reset on the uh, you know it only has two wires so as you will see is as soon as we uh, started flashing it says wait for MCU to recycle power so basically all I do is disconnect our VCC uh, here I go so disconnect VCC you could have just installed a switch here but I find it pretty easy and uh, the program is very tolerant at you know the, the bouncing of the, uh, the VCC so it actually works quite well so now I reconnect this uh, so as you can see that uh, it started the flashing and when it's done the program would automatically be uh, you know you will automatically start running so this is the uh, one of the sample programs that's provided in the same download package uh, they include a lot more programs and I'm just gonna run a few here so th those are already compiled so uh, for example uh, this is the RGB first let's actually take a look at how many uh, examples we have here Okay, so let's uh, let's do one. Let's do uh, STC gal p STC fifteen. Let's do cover. I don't know what that is. Actually, I renamed it because those are in Chinese, and uh, for some reason, Kyle does not work very well when there are some other uh, when it's in a non-English language. Okay, so now let's uh, start again. So now this thing uh, started flashing. Uh, actually, so, oh, so now it has an error. Let's let's do that again. Okay, so now let me do this. Okay. 
Okay, now it's done done programming. So this is another program. And we can try another one that is uh, provided. Uh, let's try a dual color swirl. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so let's cycle the power. Ah. There. That's pretty neat. And we'll do a few more. So let's see. Uh, heartbeat. Okay, so this heartbeat. So now you get a point. So there are a lot of uh, uh, different programs and you can easily create your own using this uh, uh, Kyle IDE. So let's do one more gradual. Let's see what that is. Okay, so we recycle the power here. So it's very nice. So, so that's the one actually we, uh, uh, that's actually the one that is on uh, our IDE here, in our IDE here, okay? So anyway, so I think this is a really good kit for those who are looking forward to start microcontrolling, uh, microcontroller programming. And as you see here, the actual programming, because of the library abstracted away many of the details of the microcontroller, you can actually program in simple see here and uh, directly see the results immediately after you program. So I really like this kit and uh, you know again I will provide the link down below to show you where you can get this kit and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up and uh, do remember to subscribe and check back often because I will have many, many more interesting projects coming up. I hope you learned something new and uh, I'll see you next time.